Here we go. That'd be the only reason. Hitter in game one as well, and if you take a look at the Bears on the on deck circle, the ledge of the dugout, at the plate, you see Barnes now sporting the long sleeve shirts underneath their jerseys. So the players wisely opting for the long sleeves as we begin to bleed into the evening hours, approaching 6:40 p.m. here at the College of Staten Island. Yeah, Joe, and clearly the players are starting to feel that uh, weather down on the field. So. We'll see how it plays in for game two. Count on Barnes now. One ball and two strikes. On the mound for the College of Staten Island is Pat Gardner. And following this next pitch, we'll bring you the Bears lineup that he will face. A couple of back and forth matchups down the hill today, Joe. Luigi Luna is the batter, and that pitch evens up the count at one and one. Luna did not play in the first game, as there's a half swing on that pitch, and he went around for strike two. Gardner is working very quickly out on the hill right now, and there's another half swing by Luna. He held. He stays alive to count two balls and two strikes. But after what we saw in the first game, two pitchers working very deliberately. Gardner, in stark contrast to that, is working very quickly right now. As he misses up and away for ball three. 41 pitches for Gardner already. Just an inning and two-thirds. Here comes the payoff pitch. And that is a home plate and into the catcher's mitt in the strike zone. Then one that's actually thrown a strike. Correct. Payoff pitch again. Swing and a miss. Oh boy, I'm good. Wow. Well. Barrel. Right on the edge of the infield dirt, but it won't matter as that's it deep to right center field into the gap, and it rolls all the way to the wall. That should score two. Ulaj is being held at third. Steven Kalika. And that's it well into the right center field gap, and that will roll all the way to the wall. Gardner takes the turn and heads for second as he loses the helmet. Ulaj can trot home. Gardner with two on and two away ahead in the count 1-0. Hits one deep to right field. Going back, Nico Liguori. It's over his head and bouncing toward the wall. Myers will score easily from second. They're waving Ulaj around. Digging from second to third is Gardner. He slides in head first. And he's safe. Eight. The fewest in the ECC. Line into left center field, and that's going to drop in for an extra base hit and go all the way to the wall. Castiglione will go first to third and hustling in. Vania. Lincoln right now is out in front of St. Thomas Aquinas. Gardner lines it the other way, and that will drop in for an extra head to St. Thomas Aquinas. The Purple Nets have to focus on the College of Staten Island Dolphins. We'll have a two-run lead here in the ninth. Gardner hits a fly ball to center field. Going back is Justin Lee looking up, and that ball is gone. Pat Gardner launches a three-run home run to straightaway center field. And the in any type of sporting event, but nonetheless. 
I was at a Devils game in Philly during the uh, 09 World Series where Rip Smoke Bomb was short porch, And it's up and over the wall. Talk about a bomb. And it's Pat Gardner helping himself. DeMarzo sends that one into right center. Chasing it down is Gardner and makes the nice over-the-shoulder grab for out number one. Terrific play. Runners, the next 2-2. Two, two. Popped up toward right field, driving into the gap and leaving his feet to make the catch. One of the stronger relievers, but Hernandez greets him with a base hit. Big turn for Hernandez. He's going to take for second. The throw comes in. Throw beats Hernandez, and he's done.